If you own a wind tower, you know eventually the pitch motor is going to have to be serviced or it's going to have to be repaired, and that's keeping them busy here at Malloy, where they have a whole division dedicated just to this. Corey's a wind specialist, and what kind of activity have you had from customers with these? Sure. In the last couple months, we they've been coming in by the pallet load. They're keeping um, you busy then. Yeah, it's it's a problem. What kind of things can go wrong here? So there's two primary failure modes. Um, some of the older towers, they, they're only experiencing bearing problems still difficult to get in and out, so it's a big problem for them. That appears to be caused by electrical fluting, and we're offering either a ground, a grounding upgrade, which will dissipate the current through a different path and lead to longer bearing life, or a ceramic bearing option, which would do the same. It would uh, make sure they don't go through the bearings and fail the bearings. Okay, what kind of turnaround time are you able to offer people? Uh, usually, with just putting it into our shop at standard production, we're looking at about two weeks. We could definitely do it a lot faster if, uh, if they do have a tower down. Some of the newer towers, they have other kinds of issues? Yeah, so some of the larger rated towers, later made towers, are actually having additional problems. They're having a problem where the keyway on here is rolling, where it interfaces with the gearbox that's used in the pitch drive. And we're currently under development on a project to address that as well, uh, and it's looking really promising. Absolutely. Well, it's a big issue for the industry. Absolutely. Right. Good. It'll be fun to watch your progress there. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Yeah, again, if you would like to learn more about what these guys offer as far as repairing and servicing the wind industry, take a look at their website or give them a call. And thank you for spending a minute with Malloy.